Good day everyone. This is just something that I do when I finish um, building a pedal. I've tested it and it works properly. Uh, I just spray the back of the circuit board with some um, of this this um, protective lacquer. I'm assuming I'm not, I've just been doing it since this, I began um, building these pedals, and I, I still do it. And um, I, I think it's just to protect the back of the the board from corroding too much. I mean, you'd be talking maybe 20 years that, that, that that's probably going to have a problem because I, I'm pretty sure the oxidization on the uh, copper board actually protects it anyway, so it's not totally necessary, but you can do it if you want. Um, I use this stuff, the Servisol um, protective uh, circuit board lacquer, and it says fast drying, universal, flexible protective film specifically formulated for circuit boards. It's actually um, solder through, so you can um, you can you can solder through it. Like I, I think if you just use a normal enamel lacquer. Um, you might get some fumes coming off it, or it might damage the tip of your um, of your uh, uh, soldering iron, which I'm assuming this this won't. So that's good if you have to make a modification after you spray it. Something comes up and you need to change it. You can still solder through it without worrying about that. Um, so yeah, I usually just um, spray it with that along the back. You can't even see it once you finish though, because you put um, those uh, you put the double sided tape over the back of it to pr to stop it from um, touching the um, inside of the enclosure anyway. Also, it looks better, even though you can't see it, it looks better if you solder all your components on the board while the, um, you know, like you clean the copper before you solder all the components on the board so the copper's all shining and then you spray straight over it. Whereas this one that I'm about to show you, um, I did half the board and then a couple of weeks later I did the other half and you can see that the copper's gone a little bit tarnished. I'll just um, zoom in on it. So you can see that the copper's kind of gone a bit dull because I've already, um, because uh, I left it for, um, uh, about yeah, a couple of weeks while I was waiting for some of the potentiometers to show up. So um, yeah, the back's obviously exposed and um, it ends up um, going a bit corroded. But it never looks never looks totally uh, you know like shiny and everything because you're touching it when you're doing the board anyway. Um, so yeah, just um, I usually don't spray it while it's inside the box, but it doesn't really matter as such if you just cover, make sure you just protect the box from the um, from the lacquer because it's basically like spraying it with a with a clear lacquer. Um, so yeah, just protect it. Protect the wires from the stuff as well because it gets it leaves this sticky sort of residue on the wires, and it's um, pretty annoying. And then you just give it a little spray. The reason, the other reason why I do it is because it's just so quick to do. It's yeah, it's pretty easy. So just an extra step. Sometimes I forget, but usually I um, usually I do it. So that's pretty much it. And you can actually just um, flick off. Uh, if it wasn't inside the box, I'd just flick off a, a bit of the um, extra lacquer. Uh, yeah, I'd just flick a bit of that off so it dries faster. It dries pretty quick too, speaking of um, drying. It dries in about uh, probably 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. So yeah, anyway, that's just an extra step that I do when I, um, uh, when I finish the board. At, um, when, I, when, when the effect works and I'm putting it inside the enclosure, I just give it a, a quick spray and leave it for 15 minutes before I um, put it inside the enclosure. So yeah, that's the... Um, that's the protective circuit board lacquer. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more do-it-yourself guitar pedal videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching.